All right. The true cost of a wealth tax. Economists warn Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren's plans could cost American workers more than one trillion dollars. And our next guest has a new book called Elizabeth Warren, How Her Presidency Would Destroy the Middle Class and the American Dream. Joining us now, the founder and a CIO of Bicoastal Wealth Management Team. David Bahanson. David, thanks for being here this morning. Appreciate it. So econ- Elizabeth Warren says her wealth tax is going to raise a, tr- raise a bunch of money to pay for all the things she wants to pay for. It turns out the economists estimate that it will, it will, it will increase lost earnings over 10 years by a trillion dollars. Yes. Which one, who's right? Well, the economists are right, and this includes leftist economists. I mean, Larry Summers was Bill Clinton's Treasury Secretary, was a senior Obama economic advisor. He's written big op-eds saying this is a total dud. It will raise less than 15% of what they say it'll raise. But then the money it loses over time is from how much productive capital gets taken out of the system and put into unproductive capital. It was a failure in Denmark and Sweden in France. It's so funny how liberals are always telling us, look at what's going on in yeah. Sweden. Let's do that. And yet with the wealth tax, Sanders and Warren are doubling down on what's been a failure everywhere. But the, but, but the talking point works for them right now in a far left primary. Take from the wealthy yeah. and use it to pay for other things. Yeah. Does that real, Does the reality you're talking about ever connect with the American people's perception of it? Oh, I, I think that there is enough class envy and enough covetousness in our society that people love the idea of taking money from people that have more than they have. That doesn't make it right, yeah. and it certainly doesn't make it American. However, the reality is that we all know people that maybe got lucky in life and were born into a good family. That's not what this is about. And even them, I don't think you should just confiscate wealth from yeah, people. Of course. The issue is that this is a tax on wealth-producing activities. We all need wealth-producing activities. The people who are hurt most when you tax wealth-producing activities are the middle class. Absolutely. And so that's what this tax is going after, and it's a real disaster. Now, David, you wrote the book, literally, on Elizabeth Warren yeah. and, and why her presidency would destroy the middle class. Uh, explain your argument. Well, I think that ultimately the things that she is doing are reinforcing a notion that everybody who has a lot in life that they're not happy with has someone to blame. She's reinforcing this idea that there's some bank or insurance company or a big energy company, and they're hurting you, and they're holding you down. And I'm all for getting the policies right. I'm all for they're not being bad actors that play a bad role in our society. But it is not true that the middle class is all a victim of some wealthy, big, bad, nefarious actor. I want a middle class with dignity that believes they can take ownership of their own life. We call it the aspirational society. It's mm-hmm. what America was built on. And Warren's entire thesis, Sanders does the same thing, is undermining the idea that the middle class has an aspirational, vertically mobile possibility. I want to get the policy side right. What Warren is doing is creating a victim mentality. It's completely un-American. You've studied, the, you've studied her and there, as a result, the race pretty closely. Who wins this race of the far left progressives between her and Bernie? Well, I, of course, at the time I was writing the book, Bernie had a heart attack and Warren was, was going up in the polls. Uh, Sanders has a lot more momentum right now. I think that uh, Buttigieg really hurt uh, hmm. Warren because he caught her in this sort of hypocrisy around, are you going to raise taxes or not? Yep. Bernie just admits he's going to do it. <laughs> yeah. Warren's had to go back and forth a little bit. Uh, but right now, I think that Warren is the more electable candidate than Sanders in a general election because she's willing to lie. She's willing to say <laughs> she's a socialist who calls herself a capitalist. Sure. Bernie's a socialist who calls himself a socialist. We do not like socialism in our country, and we certainly don't like admitting it. Yeah. David Bonson, congratulations on the book. Elizabeth Warren, folks can check it out. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.